Years ago, one local family lost everything in a fire, including its home. But today, there's light at the end of the tunnel. Emily Deem joins us live from Menasha to explain. Hi, Emily. Good morning, Pete and Rachel. Hi, everyone. That's right, Pete. There is light at the end of the tunnel. The snow is falling out here in Menasha. And look at the Vera Mendoza family who is standing on their new porch watching the snowflakes fall. We're going to be talking to them in a little bit. They lost their home two years ago in a fire. Now they get a brand new home, and today they will be given the keys. But this wouldn't have been possible without Habitat for Humanity. Executive Director with the Greater Area Fox City's Habitat for Humanity, John Weinenberg, joins me now. And, John, tell Tell us the process of the family, um, how they had to, what they had to go through to get a new home. Well, they had to uh, apply to a program and qualify. They had to meet some stringent criteria, and then ultimately they had to put in 500 hours of sweat equity. So they were out here building their home, helping other families build their homes, as well as complete educational requirements to prepare them for home ownership. One very unique thing about this lot is it was their previous lot where their previous home was. Tell us about that. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, as you mentioned, the family lost their home in a fire, and have was able to acquire the property even before the family was approved into our program. Ultimately, they were approved, and we were able to build their brand new home on the same location where they once were before. And tonight, special ceremony taking place? Absolutely. It's a great uh, chance for us to celebrate all the wonderful accomplishments of the volunteers and the family and, and show the wonderful workmanship that everyone has done to build the dreams of the Vera Mendoza family. And it's a very beautiful home. John, thank you for joining us. We're going to go up here and talk to them. They've lived in Menasha for 11 years now, and they've gone through a lot. Uh, just unbelievable how much this one family, the Vera Mendoza family, had to go through. Jose uh, battled leukemia. He was in the hospital before the home um, caught on fire and was destroyed. And little Jesus Lane there was born a week after. Now the family is out here. They're able to open their doors later tonight with their new keys. And Juan is here. He's going to interpret for his parents. Um, they don't speak English very well, so he's going to be here. And then Maria also. So, Maria, I want to talk to you um, um, you know, as a teenage girl, how difficult. You're living in an apartment right now, not much space. How excited are you to move into this new home? Very excited, very glad, happy. What are you most looking forward to? Um, I don't know, I guess somewhere because, like, I'm spending a lot of great with my family, you know, having a blast. Mm -hmm. And now the keys will be theirs. If you can ask for me, Juan, your parents, um, w there's going to be hundreds of people coming out to the ceremony tonight. Uh, what do they want most out of the ceremony? Ask your parents for me, if you can. You say you want most the ceremony that you will be able to do Oh, um, like to thank everybody that helped us and um, um, help helped us to like keep going with um our house and to help other people's houses or build other people with their houses. It's a really community effort, everyone coming together. Well, 5 o'clock, the keys will be yours, and they'll be able to move into their new home January 27th. We'll send it back to you. Thanks, Thanks Emily. Emily.